All right, what's going on everybody? Thank you for clicking on this video. I appreciate that. And I'm hoping I can give you some useful information today about these guys right here. This is the Hemiway Cruiser and this is the Hemiway Escape Bike. And this is the question I get asked all the time about my bikes is, you know, what's the realistic range that you can get out of these bikes? How far can you ride them? How many miles can you ride them before the battery's dead? So one battery, how far do you go? And it's a super, super difficult question to answer because it's gonna vary wildly. There is a ton of factors that factor into that. You got things like, what's the size of the battery, of course? What's the weight of the bike? What's the weight of the rider? You know, what kind of tires are on it? What kind of tire pressure are you running? What terrain are you on? What's the weather? What kind of cells are in the battery? Is it windy? Is it hilly? The list goes on. There's a, there's a ton of factors that are gonna increase or decrease that range. So if you're watching this, you probably either already own an e-bike or you're researching them, trying to figure out which one to buy and what kind of mileage you can get out of it. And if you look at those company websites, they're giving you the, the high end of the number, of the range, right? So they're saying things like it goes 20 to 45 miles or it goes 45 plus miles or it goes up to 60 miles. You know, they do that because they want you to feel like you're gonna get a lot of range out of this bike, of course, right? But I kind of look at it differently. I wanna know what's the, what's the minimum range you're gonna get out of this bike. What, let's say you jump on these bikes and you don't pedal at all. How far does it go? I think that's the more important number What's your starting point? Because it can only go up from there if you back off the throttle and if you pedal some. So that's what I set out to do and how I did my range test is I rode throttle only until I killed these batteries because I wanted to see what that baseline number was. What's the worst range you can get? So I have all the footage and all the numbers for you, but before we start on that, I want to give you just some stats. So the cruiser bike weighs 73 pounds. It has a 17.5 amp hour battery, uh, which is pretty big, most of the time they're like 14. It's a 750 watt motor, 25 amp controller, I believe. And this bike, same motor, same controller, um, but it has a 14 amp hour battery, so smaller battery, and it's also heavier. It weighs 90 pounds, so it's what, 17 pounds heavier, which is definitely factors in for sure. Um, now you know the bikes, I'll tell you my stats, I'm six foot one if that matters, and I weigh about 175 pounds. Now let me tell you how I did these tests. So. As I already stated, no pedaling. Uh, I went out and found a nice long loop to ride. All bikes were tested in the same uh, area. It was all pavement riding. There was no off-road riding at all. Uh, I set all the tire pressures the same. They were all at 24 PSI. Uh, I rode the same loop. I found a nice neighborhood with a really long decline into an uphill, and I did that a whole bunch until I killed through a lot of the battery. And then I also found a long straight stretch uh, about a mile long where I just kept buzzing back and forth, killing battery that way too. So you got a good mixture of riding on flat ground, riding on inclines. Uh, and I pretty much did not pedal at all. There was a few times I pedaled a little bit because it was, you know, I found like a short, steep hill and I, I didn't want to hurt the motor, honestly. So when I got to that hill, I, I gave it a couple pedals to take the, you know, strain off the motor a little bit. But for the most part, absolutely no pedaling, throttle only. I rode these like a scooter. Uh, just trying to kill through the battery as fast as I possibly could and see what the worst range was. And I was a little bit surprised on how far each went and I've got all that footage I'm gonna show you now and, but stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna throw in a bonus. I, not only did I do these two bikes, but I also did a range test on my uh, Rad Mini step-through bike. So you'll get to see a comparison on what it's like on a different brand of bike as well. So let's take a look and see what happened with the cruiser bike. All right, we're about to hop on to the Hemiway Cruiser, the step-through model here for a range test. We're gonna do basically throttle only today. And I might stick close to home because it is not the greatest weather out here today. It's about 45 degrees and kind of rainy. So we'll see, let's see how far we can get. Well, while our battery is nice and full here, let's do a quick top speed run so you can see what kind of speed you get out of the Hemiway Cruiser. Not bad, 27, 28 miles an hour with no pedaling. It's pretty quick. With the battery fully charged, this thing's pretty, uh, this thing's ready to go. <laughs> I'll tell you that, it's got some power off the line too. All right, so we finally got the battery to go down. 
one bar and we're at nine and a half miles right now uh, still feels pretty strong so i'm gonna go up here and just do a quick uh level ground speed run again and see if we're losing miles per hour yet or not let's go do that no pedaling We're still hitting 27 mile an hour, 28. So we're not losing too much power yet. All right, another break. We stopped just before we're crossing over 16 miles here and we really started eating through battery once you got past 10. And this bike is just, I don't know, I just like it. I like it better than the Rad. Not the Bash Rad. I mean, you're talking, I mean, I've, I've owned three different Rad bikes, but if you want a bike that has more power than the Rad and is more fun and i think it looks better honestly then check out the hemiway for sure and you can see we are at 15.9 miles right now and we're down to just two bars left we've eaten through three bars of battery but i can feel the you know the power slowing down a little bit here not quite as powerful you can still get up over 20 mile an hour easily all right there you go we just hit the 20 mile mark we're showing two bars a battery left still um, when you are heavy on the throttle it drops down to one so we got to be getting close here to to burning this thing out and i am just been abusing this throttle uh I, my plan was to go on the greenways but you can't go this fast in the greenways i've been just holding the throttle wide open for long straight stretches uh, you know 20 plus miles an hour 25 27 miles an hour trying to kill it as fast as possible and see what the bare minimum is i'm going to show you how we're doing this now, I didn't want to bore you with all the footage, but I want you to see. I've just been finding bike lanes like this and just letting it go wide open. You can see it's still carrying me 24 miles an hour. This guy's not even looking. Yeah. Idiots. I mean, I can feel the power has gone down. But when you get on a flat road like this, it'll still, I mean, we're still going 27 miles an hour. But we're just wide open throttle for as long as I can find straight stretches like this. And then I'm going to stop up here and tell you one other important thing, which I think is important to, to know. Because you might be saying, okay, well, I've been holding the throttle wide open now for, you know, more than a quarter mile. What is that doing to the motor? Is that hurting the motor at all? So I'm going to stop at this stop sign here and get off the bike because I've been relentless on this throttle for the last 20 miles. And I want to see if it's hot. All right, let's get my hand in here. Okay, so I'm going to classify, you know, you've got it cold warm very warm and hot i would say that this is barely warm i mean it's just getting warm which is shocking i thought running it flat out like that would just heat it right up and maybe overheat it but it is not even close to being very warm it, it's it's barely warm right now okay we just crossed over 26 miles 26.2 i gotta say I'm, I'm a little i'm a lot impressed a little surprised that it's gone this far. I, given how heavy handed I've been on the throttle, just full blast nonstop for 26 miles, I thought it would be dead. I think we are approaching the end. I can feel that the bike has lost quite a bit of zip here. So I'm gonna do this long straight stretch and just see what it tops out at. So let's, let's see how fast we can go down the straight stretch. Certainly a lot slower on the takeoff. I mean, it was doing 28 miles an hour when we were here earlier today, so. Eh, about 23. 22, 23 is about our max right now. So there's still, I mean, for, we're over 26 miles on this battery and it's still, still carrying me 23 miles an hour. All right, well, we have reached the end. Here's the final number, 28 and a half miles it took to run this thing down. That is impressive. All right, well, this bike went a lot further than I thought it was going to go, actually. 
All right, now it's time for escape bike. How far do you think this one went? Let's take a look. All right, here we go, Hemiway escape bike. We're all set to take off. We've reset our trip meter down to zeros. Let's see how she does on just throttle. Smaller battery on this one, so I'm expecting less range. Okay, while we're fully juiced up here with the battery, uh, I've only gone a mile and a half. I wanted to do this flat run here just to see what the top speed is. It's cold right now. It's only in the 40s, so maybe that'll kill the battery quicker. I don't know, but let's see what we're topping out top speed wise at the moment. Here we go. about 23 24 miles an hour all right well we are 7.7 .7 miles into this ride and we are just consuming battery i mean it's down three bars already this thing is just eating this battery crazy i mean there's no way it's going to keep up the same range as the cruiser bike um wow i'm, I'm surprised that it's eaten through it this fast and here's uh, i'll just give you a little taste how we're doing this here so I found this neighborhood with a long uphill, long downhill, and I've just been kind of going back and forth and zipping around parking lots and, you know, just trying to find ways to kill it. So when I'm going downhill, I'll usually coast downhill because I can go 20 miles an hour down the hill. No need to hit the throttle. And then I'll just crank the throttle on the long uphill up here. And that is just eating through this thing quick. And this is basically exactly what I did with the cruiser bike. I'm following the exact same loop that I rode on that bike. So I'm going to ride every range test I do. I'm going to ride the same, same loop. So it's all consistent, but we're getting a good mixture of level ground, hills, declines. I don't live in a hilly place. So you know, these are just long inclines. They're not really steep hills. But I bet you. I mean, we're back up a bar now, but it's gonna, it's gonna come down again. I'm sure. So I'm sure it doesn't come out on camera, but this is uh, all the way up to that white truck up there is a, just a long in incline. We're gonna, we're going 20 miles an hour up there right now. But that's gonna slow down a lot. I bet we hit like 14 here. And we dropped our battery bar, okay. Oh yeah, slowing way down now as it pulls the hill. I've only been pedaling a little bit when I get to like a really steep hill. And there's not a whole lot of those around where I live, so. I haven't pedaled hardly at all on this thing. Okay, quick pit stop. We're at 13.7 miles and we are just consuming battery like crazy. We're down to one bar. Still has a little bit of juice, so I'm going to run this quick straight stretch, show you how much power she still has, but we are just destroying this battery so fast on this. I'm a little perplexed as to why this one is going down so much faster than the Cruiser, but we'll see what the final number is. Let's, uh, let's hit this straight stretch wide open, full throttle, of course, and see how much power is left. So it's still got some juice in there. Maybe this last bar will last a while. I mean, we're still going 21. It's a little bit of a slight downhill right now. This road's mostly level, but you know, slight downhill right now, 23 miles an hour, pretty much. So we were coming down this slight downgrade at what, 23? And we're going up at it 20. So not bad. Okay, well, there it is. We have reached the end, 18.5 miles, and this thing's pretty dead. Um, it's really not powering me at all. I'll twist the throttle for you. That's it, one little hit, and then it just cuts out. So, that's it. It's, it's done, it gives you one little hit, and then it just cuts out. So, 18 and a half miles.
Time to pedal home. Ugh. All right, well, the escape bike definitely ate through the battery a lot faster at the beginning. The last couple bars seemed to last quite a while. Uh, I, I really thought it was gonna make it over 20, honestly. So 18 and a half, it's okay. I think most people probably don't ride that far in their rides anyway. I mean, I usually ride between 15 and 20 miles at the most on my rides and I pedal a lot. So I'm not even anywhere close to killing the battery. So still a respectable number on that. But just for comparison's sake, let's take a look and see what happened with that Rad Mini, which is the same exact battery size as this, but uh, different weights, different tires, some other factors that factor in. So let's see how far we went on that one. All right, time to test out this Rad Mini. We got the uh, trip meter right here at zero. Let's see how far we get on this. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna go further than the Escape. I mean, same size battery, but you know, different power delivery, and this is a lighter bike, so I'm expecting more miles. We'll see. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Wow, our battery is fully juiced up, and we've only gone a mile and a half. We're going to do a level ground speed test with the Rad Mini, see what we top out at. Twenty-two. Should get a little faster right here. 22 and a half. That's it. 22 and a half. All right, checking in. We just crossed over 10 miles. We're at 10.2. And I might have to go in and take a break because my hands are freezing. It's only in the low 40s here. And in the wind, your hands just go numb. But Spike's doing good. I mean, it's been kind of toggling back and forth between missing uh, one and two bars. When you go up a hill or something, it'll drop down a second bar. So 10 miles, not bad. So either it's doing pretty good or the indicator's wrong. We will find out. We're going to run it completely dead, just like the others. So uh, off we go on our course. All right, here's the update on the Mini. Uh, when I stopped and the bike shut off, it reset the trip meter. So uh, we, we did that at 10 and a half miles. So... We've officially gone 19 miles now. You can see we're at two bars, and as you you know put the bike under throttle, it kind of drops down to one. So we're going to exceed the Hemiway Escape, but we'll see by how much. So it's starting to get pretty slow. I can feel the power drop off. You know, when you go up this little nice long hill, there it's already dropped down to the one bar, and it climbs it pretty slow. Anytime it gets any steeper, it drops down pretty quick. And when I come to the steep hills, I'm, I'm giving it a, a little pedal just to take the strain off the motor if it's really struggling. You know, I don't want to burn out the motors on these things. And I did stop uh, about a half mile ago just to check the temperature of the motor, just to make sure it wasn't like overheating. And it, just like the Hemiways, it was, you know, barely warm. So I don't think we're, it's doing okay, but yeah, it's just like right here, we're slowing down to 12. It doesn't, I think that's wrong. I don't even feel like I'm going 12. <laughs> 11, but any steeper than that, I give it a little boost just to make sure I'm not hurting this thing. But I'm guessing we're gonna be, you know, over 20 miles for sure. We'll see, I'll check in at the end. Well, sadly, I missed the final number. Uh, I thought I was recording and turns out I wasn't so it ended up going 14.3 so add that to the 10.5 so total was 24.8 miles that we made it on this battery and uh you know I shut the bike off so of course the stupid trip meter reset again so I guess you gotta take my word for it 24.8 <laughs> on the Rad Mini so I came back out to film this last part to just to show you where the battery um, ended up here's how much power we've got right now Battery indicator is flashing at me. You know, you get a couple miles an hour out of it. Four miles an hour. So it's basically not helping you at all. I'd say we're done. This is the end. And it, now it's slowing to three. <laughs> so there you go. Total battery range out of the Rad Mini. 24.8 miles. 
All right, well, over 24 miles on the Rad Mini on a bike with the same battery capacity as Escape, ridden in the same way on the same course with the same rider. So why the difference in the final range number? Well, I think there's a couple things that come into play. The big one probably is the weight. The Rad weighs, I'll put it on the screen, but probably somewhere around 70 pounds. This is a 90 pound bike. So you're carrying 20 extra pounds. That's gonna factor in. This does have a rear suspension, which might factor in a touch into your momentum. Uh, the Rad has smoother tires. It's probably a much faster rolling tire. And I think one of the other, the key things is gonna be power delivery. So the Hemiway bikes are just, they give you more power. They're faster accelerating, they're higher top speeds. So you're no doubt chewing through these batteries quicker using that power. So, all right, well, there you go. I hope you got some useful information out of this video or at least enjoyed watching me test the throttle only ranges on these bikes. It's something I'm gonna do for every bike I get going forward. I'll test the you know, minimum throttle only range so that information is out there in the YouTube space for people to utilize. If you liked what you saw today, consider hitting subscribe. Thanks for watching.